The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Sayati zamanun ala ummati. There shall come a time upon my ummah, upon my nation, upon the people who follow me, upon the people who believe in me. They call themselves Muslims and believers. My ummah. When their prayers are not prayed correctly, And when high buildings spread in every place, when people swear in the name of Allah a lot about everything without fulfilling their oath, people curse each other a lot. Bribery and adultery prevails. People neglect the hereafter in order to buy the luxuries of this world in exchange for the hereafter. So people become materialistic. The Prophet وسلم, said, فَإِذَا رَأَيْتَ ذَلِكَ فَالنَّجَاةَ النَّجَاةَ If you see this happening in your time, then seek refuge, seek refuge. Find a solution to get away from all of this. It's not an easy solution, but you need to stay away from all this. In one other hadith, a man said, Ya Rasulullah, what is seeking refuge how do I seek protection what do you mean by that and Rasul Sallallahu gave an expression like this he said by adhering to your house and keeping your mouth shut and hold your tongue and hand from doing unlawful until death comes to you there's gonna come a time even worse than this one brothers and sisters where a person becomes so confused about what is happening in the world so deluded by everything that they see and hear that they're not going to know what to do and where to go and who to stand with except to stay away from things even if they mean sitting at home abstaining from all of this because there's not much they can do anymore they want to do good but where do they go they want to avoid the bad but it's all the way all around i heard a lot of young people say to me now why does islam say everything is haram 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 this is not true Islam does not say everything is haram. But when there's so much haram around us and corruption, Islam looks like it's forbidden everything. But because we live in a time where the Prophet ﷺ told us that sins will be taken lightly and that modesty will be very invaluable, which leads us to that human life becomes invaluable. Human life becomes invaluable. Prophet ﷺ is telling us Prayers are not prayed correctly. People pray without really meaning to pray anymore. Their five daily salat are done in a hurry, in a rush, with neglect. Uh, no importance is taken to them. If money comes in the way, the prayer is lost. The prayer is delayed. If a boy wants to meet a girl to chat her up and it's time for salat, He'll ignore the salat. If there is something of worldly benefit to them, the salat becomes the last thing on their mind. One brother said to me once, Brother, I don't pray Jumu'ah because I work. He said, have you tried to seek time off? He said, no, because Islam says to me that I have to look after my family. The response to that is obvious. If it wasn't for Allah providing you with this family, you wouldn't have a family aslan in the beginning. When you turn away from Allah and become ungrateful to Him and rely on other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah describes this type of family like the family of the spider in the Quran.